here and Kelly and welcome to another episode of Life is Sweet. One of our favourite kinds of videos to watch here on YouTube, our monthly favourites videos. We love seeing the kind of things that are making people happy or smile this month. So today's episode is going to be our July favourites. We are huge bookworms so our July favourites wouldn't be complete without a few of our favourite books that we read in July. So I'm going to go first, I have two books for you. The first being Freya North's The Turning Point, her new novel. I highly, highly recommend it to everybody because it is absolutely brilliant. It just, it's amazing and it just shows how talented she is. I've waited a year for it and it did not disappoint, it's just brilliant. So go and pick up your copy today, right now, <laughs> go get it, okay? The second one is by Kirsty Greenwood and it's her second novel called The Vintage Guide to Love and Romance. It's gorgeous on the front and it's hilarious inside. I, it had me laughing out loud. I kid you not, I'd be on my couch and I was just laughing out loud. Jessica Beam is the main character and she is just hilarious. She just, I, I can't say enough good things about it. Go and get it, you will laugh. It's on my book list. Yes, it's I have on to read it next. Lucy's book list. I'm going to send it to my mum and my little sister. They're my two picks for July book reads. Go find them, go get them. You will love them, I promise. Okay, my turn. So, my favourite book, I think we have probably talked about this one a gazillion times, it is, of course, Rebecca Raisin's Maple Syrup Farm. Secrets of Maple Syrup Farm. It is just. I don't know, I can't say enough good things. Like Kelly said, it is really, really hard to describe them sometimes because it's just this feeling and all we can do is say, please go and read it, please go pick it up because, yeah, this is my favourite book. I think I read it at the beginning of this month and I haven't read a book since because I just adore Lucy and I'm still kind of in Ashford at the moment, so go pick it up. <laughs> okay, so my second favourite book is The Longest Ride. Now, however, I'm being a bit cheeky here because I haven't actually read this book yet. It is up next on my book list. I can't wait to delve into it. However, Kelly has read it and Kelly made our mum and our sister and me watch the movie when we were home. And I kid you not, I watched it on the plane back. I want to watch it again with my husband. I just keep saying to him, we need to, need to, need to, need to watch it. And every time I see pictures of like Scott Eastwood and Britt Robinson. I just want to like, it just makes me smile and feel so cozy. The, the movie, movie yeah. is fantastic. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. If you like like romantic and things like me and Kelly, you will love it. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about so reading it. So that's our July movie. It's my July the movie, movie because it's out. just out on DVD now. Yeah, so yes, um, but I'm really looking forward to reading the book. And I bought it in July. So, so yeah. many hearts. I kind of get movie. away with it. So oh, many hearts. Yes, go pick up the book. And while, Lucy's the movie. Yes, and while Lucy's mentioning that July movie, I just thought I'd say another movie that me and my husband have watched for the third time this month. And I know it's a random one for me because I'm not usually into like the blood and kind of, it's not too much of it, but it's a Quentin Tarantino movie. So I don't usually watch many of them, but we watched Django Unchained the other night and I love it so much. And like I said, strange for me, but I absolutely love it. I don't know how many of you have seen it. Let me know in the comments below if you like the movie, but I just think it's a fantastic, fantastic movie and had to mention it for a July favorite because third time watching it and I still went, this is just incredible. So my favourite YouTuber is Jaclyn Hill. I absolutely adore her. And last month, she collaborated with Becca Cosmetics to create the most beautiful highlighter known to man. She created Champagne Pop, which is like this golden, peachy, beautiful, stunning highlighter that me and Kelly have been wearing all month. Can you see? Highlight on three. Um, it's just gorgeous. I think it's like my favourite makeup product that I actually own. Yeah. Like, it is just gorgeous. So, yeah, me and Kelly have been wearing she it. She actually got me one, technically, but it stays up here in her makeup drawer. It's yeah, still Kelly. It just looks pretty yeah. on my little vanity. Got me one. Not been touched. It's beautiful. <laughs> but I'm not really a makeup person. However, Lucy showed me this foundation this month, and as soon as I put it on, I thought, ooh. That's nice because I'm not really a big fan of cakey foundations that make you feel all like gutted off my face. So I like something airy, soft, and that feels kind of smooth. And this one is Maybelline New York Fit Me. So it's just a drugstore brand, um, but it's the matte and poreless kind. And I love it. So if you're into that kind of thing or not a huge makeup person like me, it's just simple, it feels light and fluffy, and I really liked it this month. So yeah, beautiful. Definitely check that one out. If you know me and Kelly, we are not huge fashionistas. But every now and again, we kind of get that little bit of a oomph and see something we like and we start going, oh, this might look nice. Oh, let's overhaul our wardrobe. 
And a few months back, I saw Amanda Rensing, another one of my favorite YouTubers, wearing this top, says lipstick. And I love the color, it's like a minty blue, and it just looked absolutely gorgeous on her. So I researched, and it was from a little place called Time Los Angeles. And their website is beautiful, and I saw like a ton of things on there that I was just like, okay, now I'm just gonna revamp my, uh, my wardrobe and just buy everything. Um, but yes, I purchased this one because I just thought it was beautiful. And then this one that I'm wearing now that says Makeup Time. And they are super soft. They are just, they feel awesome. Um, and yeah, go check them out. They're called Time Los Angeles. You can follow them on Instagram, Twitter. Um, the lady who owns it is called Ashley and she's just stunning. She has a YouTube channel. And yeah, they are definitely my favorite things to wear this month. To end our July favorites, we figured we'd give you our quote of the month. And it is, create what sets your heart on fire and it will illuminate the path ahead. It's something we very much believe in because we love being creative. We love doing what we're passionate about. And we're always telling you guys to dream big and go with what you feel and what your heart truly desires. So if you've liked our July favourites, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and please share what you've been loving this month in the comments below. Be sure to let us know also if you would like our monthly favourites to become a regular thing and we can do that for you guys. And until next time, keep smiling and dream big. Bye guys and thank you for watching.